this is Brock with Boss Roofing Experts. Today's Thursday, June 18th, inspecting this concrete tile roof for Miss Dickman. So I'm just going to take you for a quick walk through and show you some of the things I found on my inspection. Um, somebody did mark some of this stuff before, um, but there is a lot of the ridge cap that is very loose, some more so than others. So as you can see, we're right above the garage now. I'm just going to slide that back in as best I can. All right, now we're walking onto the front of the garage, and yeah, we've got more loose ridge cap. Uh, not as bad up here as what we're seeing on some of the other areas. But we do have some small breaks in the valley, and a small one here. Again, we've got several loose ridge caps. If you can see, right over here, we've got a break right there. And over into here, into the Dead Valley area. This would be to the right side of your front door if you're facing the front of the home. We've got broken tile here. And this is actually, if you look at where the crack is, it leads right to where this tile is screwed. So when that was lifting up and down, it puts pressure against the screw. And that's pretty typical of what I see from damage caused during a windstorm. We've got a lot of tile that's loose or and or sliding out and that's one finger see it's easily lifted at least four inches tile roofing institute states that i should not be able to lift the nose of the tile any more than two inches with any less than 35 pounds of pressure and again here's some more and this one you can see sliding down a bit all right let's continue here's one where you can see where it's broken the bottom side of the lock that's kind of the weak point in the tile and when it starts chattering up and down that's the first spot that's going to break especially when they move side to side being that these tiles each only have one screw they can pivot in the wind as well so when they come out of position and slam back down that's the weak point that's always going to be first to break well, we got a couple of areas here and here Again, we got a lot of ridge cap that's pulled away from the mortar. And as I'm walking, I'm sure you're going to hear some of these tiles moving under my feet. Um, like we talked about a little bit ago, a lot of these are just much looser than they should be. Here we've got another tile that is sliding out of position. You can see the old screw holes here. Those should not be exposed. All right, so now we're gonna walk down here to the other side of the front door. Here again, we've got some very loose tiles. And of course we've got, you can see, been some type of repair done here before like that underlayment certainly showing its age see how it's starting to crack away here's another tile here that's broken leading right to the screw and I mean there you go so let's see if I can get you a little better view this is what happens when tiles chatter up and down in the wind these tiles act like a big pry bar going up and down. It works these screws up. Now, of course, when that happens, it creates a spot for a potential leak down the road. If you look in here, not sure how, see the screw there? Or it's broken off and that's been pulled up. And what that's doing is creating thousands of small openings throughout this roof. Well, they will probably never all leak any one of them could eventually become a leak with the right wind driven rain all right so let's move along here okay so now i'm on the left side of the house if you're facing the front looking at your front door we're on the left side so around these pipes mortar looks pretty good here again now, there's a lot of loose tile i didn't mark every one but just found some sections throughout 
that one not as bad as what i just showed you but still an issue and i mean these are just moving everywhere i'm walking it's kind of uncomfortable it's another tile that's sliding out down here another corner break there there all right now on to the back and this is where i've say probably seen the some of the most significant damage um, again we have several loose ridge caps along the hip here you can see several going up here's where i'm sure you had a repair done before you can see the slightly newer brighter tile there um, now that you don't have any more of these tiles may be an issue because as to my knowledge and from my tile roofing institute list these scandia tiles have been discontinued uh, here we have a full vertical crack and we got several loose tiles again and here we have a couple more examples of how they are cracked leading right to the fastener that is not where they break when somebody steps on them incorrectly that's where they break when they're lifted and pressure put against the screw see how that's moving if you look at that crack same thing it would do during a hurricane or any kind of high sustained winds mortar starting to crack just a bit around this pipe could use a little bit of maintenance not terrible yet though again down here we can see I don't know how well it shows up on camera but one tile had been replaced right here here we've got another full crack going hort diagonally across the tile here um, several more loose ridge caps okay now walking over to the right side of the house if you're facing the front I'm gonna be very similar to the other areas we looked at a tile here where we've got a crack leading straight to the fastener and just a bunch of loose tile over here again um, this vent as well could certainly use some maintenance you can see where we're starting to get some separation here and that's more than likely due to you know the tile being able to move some not a lot but it doesn't take a lot um, here we have another tile that's broken the fasteners and is sliding out. Looks like another tile that was replaced right here. It's just a little slightly different coloration. Hasn't been exposed to the sun as long. And again, here's another one of the vents where we're just we're missing some mortar in here. Now with that being said, while it's not ideal to have that mortar cracked, it's really the underlayment under these style roofs that is keeping things dry. Um, so if we do have an issue, while it doesn't hurt to address these cracks in the mortar, if you have a leak, it's something that really needs to be dug into further. So here's another tile that is sliding out. You can see the screw holes here. And here's another one we've got coming out of place. So with everything I'm seeing here, I mean, I can see where you've, you know, attempted to have some repairs done which is the right thing to do to try and mitigate any further damage but in my opinion this roof is really